Hello, kindergartens! Here we are, back with the last part of our cave painting project, okay? Now, I hope you have your handprint from last week, all right? So, we're gonna need that handprint, but first, we're gonna sketch a deer. Yes, we're gonna sketch a deer, but we're not gonna sketch the whole deer, okay? What we're gonna do is I want you to go there and check on a cave painting and see if you find that picture that you saw before about those five deer in a row, okay? Those five deer, what is pretty cool is that whoever cave painter did this, he was thinking about the deer crossing a river. So as you can see there, you see their heads all sticking up. So it's kind of like, you know, oh, I don't want my eyes to get wet. So that's what they were doing, okay? So look it again, take a tour on the cave and you will find it. They're on the right side of the wall up there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some deer to those handprints. So I'm gonna give you a quick tip and how to draw the head of a deer, okay? You're gonna need pencil and you're gonna need an eraser, okay? All right, so that's the best way to do it. Now, uh, when you look at this, see? That's the letter V, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the letter V, but lying down. Imagine another V taking a nap. So I'm going to flip my paper like this. See? Look. All right? So you see here the letter V? Now, that's the letter V lying down. So I'm going to put it here because here I don't have too much room. So I need to kind of put it in a place where I have room to make the antlers. Okay? So look. See? That's my letter V taking a nap. Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my eraser and I'm going to change the tip of the letter V. See? So I'm going to erase it and I'm going to make it a little more rounded. See? Right? Because if you think about it, deer, they don't have a beak. They are not birds. Right? They're animals. So I'm going to make it a little rounded. All right? Then I'm going to go down here. See? And I'm going to put a little neck. See that? So I have had a neck. Now, I'll put a little nostril here. See? Now, I want you to think about this. The antlers the cave painters did is they put it right from here. So they started like that. Look. They made one line. Then from that line, they pull another line. And from that line, they pull another line. And then from that line, they pull another line and pull another line. And they made the same thing with the little space for the other antlers because, you know, they have two antlers. So they went like that and they did it again. A line, another line, another line. Okay. Then what they did too is they put a little Y. So they made a little dot and they put a little line kind of like that. See? Okay. And then they also made one ear. That's because they were looking from the side, so they were thinking about just one ear, okay? So the way to make one ear, what you do is think about a smile, you know, like a smile, see, a smile, and then you close. Okay, look, a smile, and you close, okay? So that's my deer, and here I have some lines, so my deer was crossing the water. That's how I made my deer, okay? All right, so... That's what you have to do. When you have that deer done, then we're going to put it with the handprint, which I'll show you in a sec. All right? So practice that first. I have some directions there for you as well on the web page. And let's get that cave painting real look like a cave painting. All right, kindergartners, we're going to keep going. Keep your eyes open. That one is mine. I want to see yours. Okay? All right, cave painters. Hands on and let's do it. Bye-bye.
See you in our next lesson.